But first, we start with the game last night. Benjamin Heisler, a 90-79 to to win. A lot of uh, interesting pieces and thoughts go into this game after watching it. Firstly, uh, the Pacers are not going to win a game if Lance Stevenson and George Hill combined for five points. That's all they had. LeBron James literally willed his team. Uh, he didn't know, you know what? He didn't will his team. He showed that he is the leader that the Miami Heat need. If you take LeBron off of that team, they can still make the playoffs, but they simply won't be as good. He was distributing. And you know what? The fact that Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosch, I believe, combined for 15 points was overshadowed by the fact that the Heat went 13 of 18 in the third quarter from the field not counting block shots in this equation. And in the fourth quarter, they went 8 of 15. And Udonis Haslam was simply tremendous. So what, what did you take away from Game 5? And you figured out who has the, the more dominant player. And if you didn't know that already, this is a clear indication that LeBron James is that guy. At, Indiana was 3 of 14 in, in the third quarter, and the Heat scored 30 points. And like you said, it was about LeBron being able to will his team to victory, and they had a bit of a momentum shift for whatever reason when, when Birdman and, and Tyler Hansrow got into that fight. And, and that's probably the only time that I'm rooting for Birdman in a fight is when, he go, was when he's going against someone like Tyler Hansbrough. You rooted so, for Birdman in that fight? Did you really? Have you ever, oh, I can't stand Tyler Hansbrough. Why? How, how can you stay? Because he's an idiot. He's a clown. I, I just, there, there's something that I just don't like about him that I've never liked about him. How is he a clown? Even it, Elaborate on clown. Why is he a clown? How is he a clown? Have you, have, you ever heard, have you ever heard him speak? Have you ever heard him try and say a story? Like, he doesn't know the distinction between acorn and a corn. A corn, like, yeah. Is, Boars and Bernstein. Very well done. There's, there's just something sort of off about him that I, I can't figure out that I just don't like about him. I, look, I, I like gritty players every so often in the NBA. They're fun. They're sort of entertaining compared to the real actual talented players but hands just gets on my nerves and and i in that case i took the birdman i would i would rather have him win that fight but but going back to the game it, it was about miami being able to set themselves up for for good shots in the fourth like they did in the third and lebron taking control of the team when he wants to take control and he talked about that post game too he said i sort of reverted back to my cleveland days and what he's referring to is his ability to score lots of buckets at one point and being able to completely put the team on his shoulders. Now he's a better cast surrounding him now, but he knows that there's some times where he needs to take over the game, and that's exactly what he did. He not only took over the game, but he damn near had a triple-double, 30 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists. By the way, Bosch and Wade combined for 17. Haslam had 16 on 8 of 9 field goals. Uh, they could not have asked for a better performance from Udonis Haslam. Because if they lost that game, the papers would be all over. I say the papers like we're back in the 90s. Uh, the internets would be all over <laughs> Chris Bosh. And they would be all over Dwayne Wade. And you know what? It shows that Dwayne Wade is not as healthy as we thought he was. We understand that it's LeBron's team now. We totally understand that. Once he came over, he inherited the team. And Wade sort of stepped to the side. They would have their games here and there when one of them would... Not necessarily take a game off, but one would shine more than the other. That they're going to need more guys to step up like Haslam, maybe a Chalmers who added 12 points. They might need a little more out of him in order to get a few wins. But what it comes down to is they put on a fabulous shooting display, uh, even though Roy Hibbert completely ate up Chris Bosh. And when a team shoots damn near 50%, uh, they're a hard team to stop, it seems. Listen, Indiana and Miami are two of the top defensive teams, not just in the Eastern Conference, but in basketball. So when you only limit a team to right around 50% shooting, you're usually not going to get a win. I do think Indiana will play well in Game 6. I think they'll force a Game 7, but it'll be a close game. Indiana's been a pretty resilient team all throughout the playoffs. Just when people think, okay, maybe they're starting to crack a little bit, they come back and, and they win. That's exactly what they've done um, in this series. They shouldn't be panicking. They shouldn't be freaking out. Uh, unless LeBron goes into super LeBron James mode, which he's always capable of doing. But there's sometimes there's that little bit of hesitancy with him to take over a game when he knows he's capable of doing it. I don't uh, think there's any. Last no, 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 no. There's no hesitancy, Heisler. You know that. What are you talking about? How I, is he's, there listen, hesitancy? He's the, he's the best player. Well, because there's a lot of times where he'll, he'll settle for an outside shot. There's times where he'll look to pass. Look at game two. Game two, the final play, LeBron should have gone straight, to, gone straight to the rim, and he didn't. He tried to look for the pass. But if he would have gone to the rim, he would have picked up the foul, and maybe Miami 
instead of turning the ball over, would have tied the game. I don't think I, 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 not, I, don't think I see any hesitancy in him. I agree with you for game two. I completely agree with you. However, so, so you just agree that that was a hesitant play by LeBron. Listen, he's more than capable of taking over a game whenever he wants. He's the best damn player in the world. Yes. I'm saying there are times where Indiana's defense forces him to be a little bit hesitant, like we've seen in a couple of games in this series. If he doesn't revert back to that, He'll be fine, and Miami's going to win. But I think my I think Indiana's defense is going to be really, really good in Game Six, and I think they're going to force a Game Seven. Hopefully, Paul George can somehow defend him as well as he is capable of to force a Game Seven. I don't think it happens. I don't see any hesitancy in LeBron James. Maybe on certain possessions there are, and it's going to be exemplified under a harsh microscope when it's the last possession of the game. I understand that. But as oh, you said, uh, he's, the best, he's the best player in the world. He can take over a game whenever he wants to. He proved it with Cleveland. He's proving it now with Miami, and they're going to win another title because of it. I think they will win another title. I think it's going to be Miami and, and, and San Antonio in a fun series. I'm not saying LeBron is a hesitant player. I'm saying there are moments in a game where he should take over where he doesn't. That's all I'm saying. Okay, no, 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 that's totally fine. But you also gotta remember this, as a leader, as much as you, and I'm sure he does, he wants to put up, you know, 48, 12, and 10. I'm sure he really wants to do that. However, you gotta keep your teammates involved as well. He, he, no, know, he, he just knows wants... he has to keep his teammates involved. You know that. It, but, right, but LeBron wants to win. And I don't think the stat line really means that much to him because as long as his team is winning and as long as he's winning championships he's fine with that the fact that triple doubles are coming in the playoffs for him that's that's not a surprise based on his talent but i'm not saying yeah yeah if he want lebron wanted to get 40 15 and, and 12 he could but filling up the statute is not what he wants to do he wants to win how would you rate his uh tw tw meter ben heisler off the charts yeah. off the charts yeah he's, he's got the tw tw he's got tw tw the wheel the wheel